So today we're going to be taking a look at the results from these motors here. These are the Racer Star SICK motors. This is Racer Star's entry into premium level components and um, it's a pretty interesting one. So I really wanted to get these test results just to get an idea of what you're possibly purchasing and what I'll probably be flying in a couple days when I do a build video with these. Now, not only we're going to test the low KV 2207 SICK motor, we're also going to test the high KV and uh, they're linked down below as well. But we're going to add in a little something extra, which is the Nazgul 5140 propeller. I use it. Seems pretty good. Everyone speaks so highly of. So I really wanted to see some numbers to know how good it is and uh, what people are actually feeling. And you're going to be quite surprised with the results like I was. It's, it's just insane. So let's take a look at the results. Okay, so on the left, we have the Racer Star SICK 2207-2688 KV, which is the high KV on the 4S test. And on the right, we have the low KV version, which is the 1,888 KV. We'll just call it the 1,800 KV one. So it was ran on a 6S. Now, I don't have many props right now, and I'm going to redo most of these tests later on. Right now, I'm still training my assistant. Before we go too deep inside, I want you to take note of the Nazgul here, 5140. And I'll explain what this means. Um, so the blue lines are the thrusts in grams. The red line here is the amperage. If you ever get lost, you can check down here. The green line is the voltage. And the yellow line is the overall efficiency. So we can see how efficient it is. So the overall efficiency is the gram force per watt. So keep that in mind here. All right, so let's start with the high KV. Now, immediately look at the Nazgul. It has the lowest thrust, but that would be fine under what condition if the amp draw was less than everything else and it was very efficient, but that's not the case. It's terrible in terms of efficiency. So something's going on here now it is also important to take note of that some you know kvs or some motors prefer a specific type of prop and become more efficient than other motors so don't take this test that disproves that the nazgul 5140 is a terrible propeller actually it's a pretty good propeller but we're gonna have to wait a bit until we test more motors to see where it really fits with all of these things because I, I, something is just not right here uh, you know, I ran this test five times with the Nazgul's and they just kept producing these really terrible results here. Now, for example, how terrible is this, you might say? Well, on the Dalprop 5043C, so it's a five inch propeller, we were pulling 43 amps, but also gaining 1,354 grams of thrust, which is, I think, good. It seems good. It's not bad. Now, if you move on to the Nazgul 5140, you see that we're pulling 46 amps of current and we're only getting 1,200 grams of thrust. So there's a big difference here. I'm like, oh yeah, well maybe because of the low pitch, that's totally fine. But you know, it's, it's, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Because if we move here, this is a 5145. It even has a uh, steeper pitch, which is more aggressive. And we're getting a ton more thrust with about the same current that's just not right so keep that in mind however the motor is doing pretty good i don't know how good but you i mean if it fits you right there i think above one kilogram around this area is actually really great especially the low kv one the low kv one seems to be efficient on the dalprop 5043c and also take something into consideration when using this motor do not go above a 5140 um, on these motors they get pretty damn toasty on this uh, on the 4s i kind of barely smelt a whiff of the coating so that's too aggressive for it on the 4s so don't go 51s on the 4s unless you're doing a 5140 but obviously not the nazgul sorry nazgul or iflight and um other than that the, the motors tested and ran pretty well which is really great um, and also about these Excel sheets, I'll have them linked down below. Not today. Keep checking back within a week. Right now, I'm still training my assistant. Uh, what you're looking at here is the full throttle test. So this is just the full throttle readings. I have the other readings also. So I'm trying to figure out a nice format to show you guys so you guys could understand it better here. And um, I just wanted to put no some numbers to these motors and also see the Nazgul in the process as well and see how well those are actually doing. But it turns out that it's not doing very, very well. So that's not a really good thing. And um, yeah, don't, can't say much. So everything's linked down below. If you could check those out, it's greatly support the channel. I also have coupons for these motors, which you get them for a really great deal. They are premium. They do have titanium shafts, which is a huge addition, which means they're basically premium um, and they perform really good i mean right there they look really good I, I prefer probably the low kv uh usually i'm a high kv 4s but here look at the results of the six k uh, the low kv on the six s just insane really insane and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out